Shalom Israel. I want to start off, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makah Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who teach and rule well at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations and peace and mercy to the uh, the prophets, the hopeful elect, the 144,000. And to the men and women of the 12 lost tribes of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Shalom. Back with another lesson. Um, not sure what I'll title this one, but we're just going to go right into it, into war. Because uh, the spirit hopped on me, I, you know, sitting here um, constantly meditating and, and um, just seeing, you know, watching the prophecies unfold. And I had just seen something as far as with uh, China, Russia, and Iran. And, you know, they've been doing these military exercise drills, you know, over there in the North, I think it's the North Indian Ocean. And, you know, they're, it was basically saying that they're just, they're, they're just, they're strengthening, they're strengthening their ties, you know, and getting ready for the West. This war is, is, is inevitable. It's coming. And I'll hop right into the scripture and we'll go from, we'll go to Exodus 15 and three, the Lord. And it reads, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Yahweh Baishim Yahweh Shai. He's a man of war and he wants war. We've, the, the, the Lord has, has caused all wars from World War One to two. And this, and it, we're, he's getting, he's preparing World War Three. World War Three is unfolding, unfolding, uh, right before our eyes right now, and this is prophecy. You know, Eastern Europe versus Western Europe, the West. You know, and U.S. and 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 and, and you can see it. You, they're sending you, you Babylon, America is sending their troops over to Germany, and you know all you know uh, uh, Ukraine. Uh, they're all they're, they're just wars being um, wars being prepared, wars being prepared. And so um, let me go to um, let me go to uh, Isaiah. I don't want to make this too long, but this war is going to happen. You know, and if you don't ultimately have Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. You going <laughs> the missiles is gonna get you. The Lord, if you are in your wickedness and and you you think that you're balling out and puffed up and proud and doing all the wickedness and you're not doing thus said the Lord, the Lord is preserving you. You could be living good and doing wickedness, thinking that you're gonna get away, but the Lord is put you go. The day is coming and it's gonna come like a thief in the night. So let's go to um uh. Jer or Salakia, Isaiah 19 and 2. Isaiah 19 and 2. And it reads, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. The them uh uh them Russians, the uh uh Medes and uh uh Esau Edom, they're all <laughs> Amalek, they they're all all of them they're the same people. They is Satan verse Satan versus Satan. They're the same people, you know. And this is, this is what the uh, this is he's talking about now, you know, uh, the house of bondage. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother. You see that, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. In, in this kingdom, which is, uh, uh, we're on the fourth kingdom, which it tells you in Daniel, you know, uh, uh, the, um, I think it's the, uh, Nebuchadnezzar's dream. I think, uh, if, so, quote me if I'm wrong, you know, and it's talking about that, uh, uh, that Roman empire, that fourth kingdom. This is what we're on, you know, it, it, the beast, this is the beast. 
and America sits on the whore, which is NATO, and it and is the head of it. You know. Let me go over to um. Let's go over to Proverbs. This war is inevitable. It's going to happen. We're, we're witnessing it. Proverbs 21 and 1. And it reads, The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh by Shem and Havashai. You see that? Yahweh by Shem and All these kings from the beginning of the time, you know, Yahweh by Shem and Havashai has, he's, he's the one who's controlled this. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh by Shem Havashai's. As the rivers of waters, he turneth it with with soever he will. So whenever he decides to turn on that that switch on them to go ahead and, and fire off on, on their weapons and whatever else it is, they gonna do it. He uses the angels to do that. You know, and this is and and, and this goes back, you know, uh 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 America, you know, against Russia. That Soviet Union, that Cold War, you know, it goes back and is 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 leading up all the way until now. They've just been building versus building, you know, up their military and their armor and power, you know. So let's go over to um, let's go over to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, due to time consumed, just give a a, a rundown. You know, call her law, Yahweh by Shem Shai. Let's go to Jeremiah 49 and 7. Jeremiah 49 and 7. Concerning Edom, thus said Yahweh by Shem Shai, power of host. Is wisdom no more in Teman? And that's them, uh, uh, Teman is those uh, Germans, you know, those mad scientists. You know, even with uh, Albert Einstein, you know, what they didn't took from him, you do the research and history on him, you know, to, to build those weapons, you know, um, is, is counsel perish from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? You see that? And I just, it just read to you in Proverbs 21 and 1, the Lord, uh, 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 the hearts of the kings are in the hands of the Lord. You know, he controls all this. All the wars that have ever been on earth, Yahweh by Shem Shai is the one who is who is prepared and started it. You know, he's he controls everything. You know, so let's go over to um. We got what we're gonna finish it off with this. Let's go to Isaiah. We're gonna go over to Isaiah. Isaiah 24, 18. We're going to close it out with this. Because this is what's coming. This says Isaiah 24, 18. And it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. That noise is a missiles. And he that cometh out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare for the windows from on high are open. That's when they fly over and they, the, 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 with the missiles, when they have, they open up them, that, that little uh, window and they get ready to drop it. <laughs> for the windows from on high are open and the foundations of the earth do shake. You see that? When they open up that window and then they drop the earth is, and they and them, and them nuclear w weapons uh hit, it's over. It's over. Oh, and then let me let me go to uh Salakia. Salakia. Talking about those nuclear weapons, Isaiah 54, 16, and it reads, Behold, I have created the smith, 
And we know what the Smith are. You know, they, 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 as far as, um, uh, you know, do the gold and the, and, and the silver and the metal and stuff. The Lord is saying that, you know, I created, I behold, I have created the Smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. Whose work? For Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. See, he has created these, uh, uh, those nuclear weapons. That's a, that, that, that's a, a, a weapon that Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is, as, as you, is, uh, gave Esau, Edom, Edom in them to create, you know, but that's like the strongest weapon that that's here on earth, you know, and it's going to be used. That's why with y'all with these, you know, all these, uh, uh, um, Jake's and stuff running around with all these weapons and stuff. You don't stand no chance in that day, man. You don't stand no chance. It says, behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the wasters to destroy. Those wasters are those nuclear weapons. And they're going to destroy everything. This place is America, Babylon is going to be destroyed. There's going to be nothing left here. 19. We'll, go, we'll hop back over to Isaiah 24, 19. And it reads, the earth, utter, the earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean, dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. And that's what happens when them bombs, when them nuclear bombs hit. It's just going to, it's going to shake the earth. The earth is going to move. 20, the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage. And the transgressions thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not arise and not rise again. Right? 21. And it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh by Shemel Shai shall punish the host of, of the high ones that are on high, and the kings of the earth. Upon the earth, call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see that? You know, because the elect, the Lord is coming back to save the uh, elect men out of this. And there will be martyrs that come out of this, uh, in, out of the elect. Some men will have to die for this word. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But the Lord is going to put the spirit on those men in the elect, period, to, to, to endure whatever he put them through. You know, and like it just said, you're going to get the kings of the earth, you know, so the elites and all the top banking and, and those that are on high, the Lord is going to use, uh, uh, put the spirit when he come down and, 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 go, and go get you uh, um, elites that are in those bunkers and that are hiding and think that you're going to escape, you know, your judgment and you're going to be put in chains and shackled. And ready for slavery, you know, until we're ready to come and ready until we're ready to put you to work, you know, call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, this place is, is, is through. We're on a ticking time bomb, you know, China, Russia and Iran and, and North Korea and the rest of these countries that are, uh, um, you know, uh, allied together. They're coming against uh, America. America gonna shoot they uh weapon they 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 nukes on 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 those countries and all of them countries gonna shoot they nukes right on this place but this place is gonna be completely destroyed unhabitable there'll be nothing left here all your all your memories and dreams and 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 <laughs> the food you love and all your football games and basketball and partying and clubs all that will be put to dust completely it'll never be it'll never uh, uh be inhabitable again this place is going to be completely destroyed not one stone left nothing burnt to the ground call halal yahweh by shemal Shai. you know so but the spirit hopped on me i was you know just 
you know, meditating and, and watching the prophecies. So, you know, we're watching World War III uh, unfold. It's inevitable. It's coming. And the only way you can prepare for this is through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, period. If you don't have him, you are going to be finished. Your money can't save you. Your food can't save you. Your, your job can't save you. Your guns, your weapons can't save you. The only thing that will can save you is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai.